Hey guys, welcome to my new Unity project. Uh, for those of you who've been following the zombie game, the reason why I've stopped that and now started this new game instead is just because when I started making the zombie game I didn't have much prior experience, so the project soon became like cluttered and difficult to manage, so um, I was growing tired of, the, of working with that and I decided it would be better just to start an entirely new game with all the experience that I've gotten from the zombie game. So. This game is a merging of two genres, uh, the first person shooter genre and also the tower defense genre. So um, how it's going to work is basically you run this, uh, this fairly small, small um, piece of land and uh, there'll be creatures sort of pouring in from all sides. I haven't decided what the creatures are going to be yet. They could possibly be zombies, monsters, aliens, I don't know yet. Um, but basically there's going to be 10 million of them. Obviously not all at once, but throughout the game 10 million will come and you have to kill them all. And uh, you have to do so obviously without dying or letting them destroy something. Um, that as well I have not decided yet. But um, yeah, so the count in the top left Ten, which starts at 10 million is obviously that and the number below that is the amount of points or coins that you have um, so that is the currency so you'll you'll be given a starting amount um, to purchase uh, an upgrade to um, and there'll be three tables like this and uh, you'll be able to upgrade them and with your starting funds you'll be able to purchase one upgrade and so you could choose a crafting bench such as this one and here you can press F um, to go into your build options and this takes you into the top down sort of um, the tower defense element of this game and here you can uh, you can zoom in and out and just navigate this piece of land that you have and then there'll be a whole list of options here, you know, from um, fences to catapults, that sort of stuff, um, mostly wood and stone at the beginning. So you can see here, I can just click on, a, on the fence to, um, to create it, and then I can hold down shift to snap it if I want to put them all in a line, and I can rotate it. And um, so let me just hop out of this mode to show you what this looks like. So, obviously this, um, this just sort of impedes enemy movement, so any of the creatures coming in will either have to break through this, which will obviously take some time, or go around it. And um, so, you know, you'll probably place these like around your catapults and stuff to stop them from destroying them. And then you can also build barricades, which will obviously be slightly more expensive than fences, and they do pretty much the same thing except obviously they'll damage the enemies in the process so um, you can put these down and you can see you've now got these barricades okay so the second bench you'll be able to create is the research bench now um, you can press F just to go into your research options now you can see this um, this menu is quite ugly at the moment. Um, I'm pretty much waiting for the new GUI system to come out before I really start um, making the menus look nice. Um, but yeah, this is the basic idea. You'll have a whole list of your research options here and the description of them on the side and then a buy option here. So the first one you can choose is just a simple investment option. You, you know, you put down uh, sort of starting amount, 250 coins, and then every minute you'll receive 10 coins. And um, then there'll be a whole bunch of others, and then at the bottom there'll be your sort of technology upgrade. So the first one is metalworking, and that's quite self-explanatory, you know, that unlocks metals, and you'll then be able to build new stuff from your crafting table. So that's what I've done so far. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any um, any feedback or suggestions, please leave that in the comment. That would be greatly appreciated. Goodbye.